the subject of, of, of behind the scene. Uh, when we work together, we talked about spiritual warfare, the spirit world, and we understand that the natural and the spirit world uh, exist in every context of, of, the, of the term. You know, and everything that we see has a natural and a spiritual uh, relation to it. Uh, as it pertains to this, this pandemic, this global crisis, spiritually speaking, uh, what, what do you, um, I guess, perceive as going on? Well, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a virus, a disease, a plague, pestilence. So first off, the Bible talks about pestilence coming. Uh, Jesus taught this in, in Matthew 24. You know, he told his people, he was talking to his disciples. So therefore we can conclude that the church can be comforted by those words as well. See that you're not troubled. Uh, you'll hear of wars and rumors of wars and you'll hear of, pestilences and famines and earthquakes. So these things happening, not surprising because it kind of comes with the system of the earth. The plagues have, uh, uh, or pandemics have occurred before where the church has been in existence. Uh, probably the second Sunday into quarantine, I taught on I actually took like the first four weeks of quarantine to kind of just touch on, you know, what we've been going through and touch on the pandemic. And on the second Sunday into quarantine, I mentioned previous pandemics like uh, swine flu in 2009, uh, the influenza pandemic in 1920, and then of course the, the Black Plague. And the church was present during all those uh, pandemics. The church was present before them, during them, and after them. So my main encouragement was we're gonna still be here. The church will still stand. And it's important that the church stands because we are the organism in the world that is life. We are, we are the organism that, that, uh, uh, that has, that contains, that presents, that preaches and promotes the living Messiah, literally the solution to this. I, I, I believe that uh, when we start talking, you know, is this the end of days? Is this God's judgment? Is this the devil acting up? I lean more towards the latter. And, and I only say that because when when God, in the Old Testament, at least when we see this, when, when God was going to judge the earth, he always made a distinction between his people and everyone else. Mm. Right? So when you look at Noah, he judged wickedness. And Noah was found favorable or found grace in his sight. So Noah and his family were spared. So God made a distinction between his righteous and those who weren't. He did it with Sodom and Gomorrah as well. He made a distinction between the righteous and the unrighteous. He did it when, he, when uh, Israel was in Egyptian bondage. He said, I'm going to make a difference. They will know that I make a difference between my people, between Israel and the world. So when God is, 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 is judging the world, he, he identifies his righteous and excludes them from that judgment. Now, of course, in the case of Egypt, you know, like, for example, the death of the firstborn, you know, he told them, I need to see the blood on the doorposts. Mm -hmm. so, with, so whether you're Israel or not, if I don't see the blood, the destroyer is going to come and take your firstborn and, and, and kill your firstborn. But, but outside of that, that's God still giving instructions for his people. So when God is judging, he's giving his people instructions. Here's how you avoid the judgment. Here's how I'm going to keep you in the midst of all of this. Whereas the devil, the devil just runs rampant and just takes whoever out. Mm. And, we, and, and we see COVID doing that. COVID, COVID shows no mercy. COVID's killing Christians, killing non-Christians, it doesn't matter. And, you know, we know that Satan is the author of confusion. And we know that because the Bible says God isn't. So if God isn't, it has to be him. We know he walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may de de devour. Um, you know, the Bible says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And even though in that context, the thief is the hireling, where did the hireling get killing from, stealing from, and destroying from? He had to get it from the adversary. So. I lean more towards the latter. I lean more towards the latter that this is the devil just doing what the devil always does because he runs the world system. He, 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 he is in charge of the earth doesn't belong to him, but he runs the world system. And so when we look at the condition of the world and all of the whack and all of the craziness and the heinous acts going on, it's because he runs the system. Hmm. That, that, that's so, I think, important to, to dig into. You made a, a huge statement there. You said... He doesn't own the or run the earth, 
but he runs the world system. Um, make a distinction there in, in, as it pertains to what our role as the Christian is so, and, and how that counteracts what he is doing in the world system. Okay, so the Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. All right, we got it. That, that, that's, that's an easy pill to swallow. But then you have statements like uh, Jesus saying, the ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing in me. Oh, okay, so the ruler of this world must not be your father because you said that the ruler has nothing in you. He also says that the ruler of this world would be judged. He couldn't be talking about his father. Paul even says the God of this age who's blinded the minds. That couldn't be father God. So clearly we can see from those statements, and of course, doing a little more digging, like when Satan was tempting uh, Jesus in the wilderness, and he said, bow down, worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world, for they have been delivered to me. When were the kingdoms of the world delivered to you, bro? Oh, right, in the garden, when Adam disobeyed, and he handed jurisdiction of the world system right into the hands of the enemy. So, what do we have now? We have Christ coming. He completes his work at Calvary. He ascends to the right hand of the Father where he's seated until his enemies are made his footstool. He's making intercession for the saints. What does he tell his people to do? What does he tell his church to do? Go into the world. Preach the gospel. Make disciples of nations. He says, your world is the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is our system. So, you know, we've heard the, 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 uh, the, the Christianese statement we are uh in this world but we're not of this world which is true we, we we are living in on the earth we are living in this system but we're not of this system our world our system is the kingdom of god and so the kingdom of god is god's sphere of influence the kingdom of god is wherever the kingdom is the kingdom of god is wherever the citizens are so wherever we as believers go we take with us the kingdom of god and, and what does the kingdom of God look like? The kingdom of God looks like a variety of things. Paul said in Romans 14, he said, the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but it's righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Spirit. To the Corinthian church, he said, the kingdom of God is not in word, but it is in power, meaning it's in power, it's in demonstration, it's in signs. If you remember the account in Matthew 12, when Jesus was casting out a demon and the Pharisee said, oh, he cast out demons by the power of Beelzebub. Mm. Jesus said, mm, no, that wouldn't be a good look for Satan because if he casts out demons by the power of Satan, then his kingdom can't stand. He says, mm. the kingdom divided can't stand. He says, no, I'm casting out these demons by the finger of God, which is the Holy Spirit. And then he makes this statement right after that. He says, and then surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. So Jesus said casting out demons was the kingdom of God in operation, which means healing the sick is the kingdom of God in operation, raising the dead, blind eyes opening, the deaf hearing, sickness and disease being removed from our midst, unclean spirits being removed from the life of people. That is the kingdom of God in operation, in power, and in demonstration. So that's, that's our role, that's our job, and that's our world within this, this system that the devil is running for the time being. Mm, mm, that's so good. You you said something.